Hi, welcome. This video is about actually, um, let's move you over here. He's back on my second screen, of course. Go here, stay here. So, um, booting up from VirtualBox, GWM, doesn't matter what desktop we're on, 16 desktops, we're fine. We know them all. Control Alt E is going to launch our tweak tool. And this video is about the tweak tool. But as a matter of exercise and about of what if, I would like to have on my JWM XFCE because I would like to teach on in XFCE. So it's that simple to get this, this drop down. And in this case, uh, when you boot up, you'll see JWM, it's still not there, but it is possible when you install and update your system, then you have the latest tweak tool. Just trust me. Now, I need to do it anyway because I want to have the new one, but I'm not going to install everything. I am going to open also the test repo because it's not yet in there, in the stable, in the normal um, repo. So opening it up and then update, we'll also get the databases of this test. And I want to test and show you. It's going to be released in a matter of minutes. Tweak tool that's in here is going to be moved to yours. And then Ctrl Alt E is the new one. And then you'll see that indeed we can install JWM with a drop down and a click of the button. And there you are. But this is JWM in case you were wondering. That's it. The video is about uh, ZSH. There is something you should know and probably you know already that there are lots of things in here, right? And these steps will only show if it's if it needed, if it's needed, like i3 th theming and awesome theming, that's down here. It doesn't show. Why? I don't have i3, I don't have awesome. Why should it show the tab? The tab, right? The same goes for this ZSH theming at this point in time. I am not on ZSH. And that's why I'm in a virtual box. I'm gonna show again how easy it is to get to zsh right that's it log out you are now almost in to zsh you log out exit log out log back in let's have a look what we have here at the top ah nothing how is that possible i cannot log in there is no xfce unfortunately let's reboot let's see whoa i can't click anymore Let's exit and restart. Always a good thing. Something doesn't feel right. Ah, it's a Linux Zen kernel. Hmm. I don't. So, yeah, it might be the Linux kernel because normally it's a bit slow. That is just sluggish. My computer is slow. So, um, I wanted to go to. Well, actually, I am already on ZSH. When you log out and log in, you are on ZSH, right? So that's that's okay. But I just wanted to go to XFCE. So I'm wondering, log out, is it now after reboot, reboot available? And it is. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Did you try turning it off and on again? So I was on Arch Linux B GWM. I installed XFCE and boom, I have XFCE on my system. Right. Cool. So, Control Alt E, all that to go to just one thing. Need you need to go to the ZSH to have the ZSH themes. Does that make sense? Right. We are gonna create more and more things in here, and otherwise it'll be a long list. And now everything that's involving this particular desktop shows, and that's it. This is all good. This is all good for XFC, GWM, it doesn't matter really. It's all for them. Uh, don't use the testing guys, that's for us. Slimlock, Termite Teams, ZSH Teams. So, Ctrl T at this point in time. Ctrl T at this point in time. Ctrl T at this point in time. You get it? It's always different. This prompt here is always different. It's always gonna look different. And that's because of this here, random. Right, but at some point in time, you say awesome panda apply team, 
this is going to be it. I'm going to keep this and keep this and keep this and keep this, right? So now it's fixed, fixed in time and that's cool. So we have now a possibility to change the theme in ZSH. Of course, we have it, must have it installed and all that, but we assume you are actually working on Linux, right? And you have ZSH RC available. And all it does is change this thing here. Awesome Panda is gonna be back into something else. I don't know. I think Jonathan is somebody who said on YouTube, I wanna have that, it's awesome. Jonathan, apply, control T. And this is indeed a nice prompt, right? With a line and then you update and you see all that up, 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 up. And then again, a line, let's update the system. And it's a, it's a nice prompt. So you can choose whatever you like from all the drop downs, apply the theme, control T and another prompt is available or just keep, keep it at random. So let's put that back. Let's check in the meantime here. This is colo, correct colo, back to random, all the way up, back to random, apply theme, check it out, boom, changed. So that's our newest addition for your ZSH teams. Have fun.